MEV is a hard game and in today's video I'm going to show you why it is difficult to get into this industry and I will show you a bot that is making arbitrage one of the most interesting aspects of MEV in a very creative way we're gonna cover what is important when it comes to making MEV bots how much would it cost the importance of creativity and the best money secrets in this game because it's all that matters at the end of the day we're creating bots machines that are making money for ourselves welcome from sao paulo in brazil such an amazing city and yeah if i stumble upon this arbitrage bot well i was looking for it and i've noticed something very interesting as you can see here there's a lot of things going on in this video i'm going to cover exactly how is this important like what it's the cost of creating such a bot, the potential, the importance of creativity and how to make the most money. But as you can see here, this is an arbitrage bot. It, it sent one single transaction. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to show you that arbitrage is a very difficult game unless you know what you're doing. First, as you can see here, it's using USDT to buy a token on SushiSwap and sell it on Uniswap. Then he uses more USDT to buy a token on Uniswap V3 and sell it on another pool on Uniswap V3. Then he uses USDT again for Uniswap V3 to Uniswap V3 for two different pools. USDT to token, token to Ether. At the end he gets Ether. And then after collecting all the, that Ether, he converts the Ether to USDT back. All the Ether that he used here to buy all these tokens is returned and converted back to Ether. USDT from Ether. And this is such a fascinating strategy because I haven't seen anybody do something similar. He is using USDT to arbitrage between pools effectively, converting USDT to Ether through a middle token, and then converting that token, that Ether, into USDT back. Let me show you the numbers. Here's how it looks like. So he is using this much Tether. First, he uses this this and this and he spends and recovers the same amount of, e of tether but he uses this much ether to buy that tether back however he receives more ether than that so he uses this much ether to recover the cost of usdt but he receives more ether are you following me so he is making a profit on that there's more ether at the end of the entire process so after all the calculations, we take the ether out, we subtract the ether that was required to purchase the tether and we get this much profit. I know it's not much, but then you gotta consider the gas costs, which we reduce those two and we get this much ether profit, which is 51 cents. And you may be wondering like all this work, all this complexity for solar, for such a small reward and that's the truth it's a very small reward but let me tell you why this is very very good for you if you're looking to make money on crypto because with a tool like this you can have money coming in every day without doing anything just letting the bot run but then after that you can build on top of this bot implement five more arbitrage strategies combine those two and send bundles that have all of those strategies and keep a high percentage of the profits. The main reason he made this little is because he spent this much on gas costs. And my guess is that those gas costs from come from the priority fee. The priority fee is the tip that is given to validators. If we reduce that to zero or, or zero zero one, there's more profit for ourselves. So something like this may seem complicated and it's complicated to make. It's a bot. At the end of the day it takes a lot of work to make i estimate that it could it took about 300 or 500 hours to find the strategy implement uh, an mvp to see how it would work and then implement the final product that is working this guy is making real money that is the important aspect of it and it has a ton of potential a bot like this you know you need someone that is specialized in mvp that knows about this type of things so a guy that spends three or five hundred hours on something like this could cost you hundred bucks, hundred bucks an hour. 
that means something around say 500 hours times 200 per hour that is about a hundred thousand grand <laughs> I know it sounds insane but we're talking about very specialized developers that know what they're doing and developers that find you a strategy that is working and you may think wow that is too much we're making just 50 cents per bundle how often do we make that if we are making 50 cents every minute that is a good bot let's say 50 cents per minute that will be 30 bucks per hour without doing anything in perpetuity and that is an amazing thing imagine doing that for let's say a thousand hours that is 30,000 bucks just with the bot running you made a 30% on the money that you spent now of course this strategy may not run that often because it's not uh, that common you don't see this many swaps this many arbitrage opportunities but you can implement more strategies you can build on top of what you have which is a lot after all once you have the bot building on top of it it's much easier much most cost effective and the potential of it increases so much so in short the cost to make such a bot it it's high at the beginning but it pays off after you run it and prove it with more strategies or better strategies so the cost is justified it may seem a lot but it works because it's effective so the potential of this bot is you know we can increase the number of arbitrage opportunities we can by implementing new strategies or we can make them more often by targeting other opportunities but not only that the real money making system that that can skyrocket that can maybe triplicate your earnings from such a bot is by combining those strategies when you find strategies that work together like arbitrage and sandwiching you can combine them in a way where you can out compete others so like i said in many videos before if you have an, a sandwich bot and you are sending let's say 10 transactions 10 bundles per day you are winning 10 times the competition so you simply implement a strategy that works with sandwiching which is arbitrage or a similar strategy and you get free money from that that arbitrage that you made it's all for you all the profit it's for you which can be 10 bucks 20 50 bucks for you per bundle and that adds up very quickly you know that's how you really make money on MEV and uh, most people don't have the patience or the resources to invest in something like this but I'm telling you there's a lot of potential in this there is so many creative strategies that it's um, almost unlimited but if you want to go further I have more strategies in my course which covers the ways to make an even higher profit on this there is so many ways and this can make you a million dollars if you know what you're doing and I cover that in my course in my paid course is five thousand dollars it's not cheap and that is to keep people out from it I don't want many people to know it but yeah you can make a million dollars from this if you know what you're doing just by having a solid foundation a solid maybe bot that is working that's making a profit I know it sounds crazy but that's one of the fastest ways to get rich in crypto now how to make the most money we've covered that you simply implement a good strategy that is working you gotta be creative you gotta find things that others aren't doing or find a twist on this like not many people are doing arbitrage tether to a token and then to ether and then ether back to ether to, to tether so you gotta be creative you gotta find ways where you can implement your own logic another strategy would be to have the token yourself and use that token you hold it you use the artificial intelligence that tells you okay this token is worth holding so you hold it while you are making arbitrage and making money from it you're increasing that token holdings or ether holdings from the token if you are interested in an MEV bot you can pay from 10 to a million dollars or more in costs depending on the profit on the potential on the complexity on how difficult it is to re-implement a strategy like this because someone can see all of this like I'm doing right now and implement the strategy themselves and that is a problem you don't want to create a strategy that will be out competed by someone else that's a risk for you you want a strategy that is solid that beats the competition for months and years at a time 
and that takes time and that takes resources but it can be done and people are doing it all the time but the best thing like I said is building on top of your existing bot if you have a bot you can improve it and make more money from it more transactions and more profitable transactions that's how you get rich in this game but then there are other ways that I won't share here but in my paid course are detailed it shows you how to make a million dollars or more from a bot that is working hope you like this video share it with your MEV friends share it with someone that you like and um, yeah I mean this is amazing if you want to to know about MEV bots if you're interested in one send me a message on telegram the link is in the description and talk to you soon give it a like subscribe bye